Welcome to the 2018 York Home Live Tour of Gibson Hall. My name's Josiah Prock. Uh, I'm a, a junior here from Russellville, Arkansas. I study communication. I want to go to law school. Um, so Gibson Hall is a, a, a great dorm. It's actually the second oldest residence hall on campus. Um, the first oldest is Carnal Hall, which is now a hotel. So it's located in central campus. Um, it's a really convenient location. The Chi Omega Greek Theater is right behind us. We also have classrooms in Kimple Hall. We have the Founders Residence Hall and eating area. Um, that all includes slim chickens, things like that. We have Starbucks. As well as the Bruff Dining Hall right here. Behind us is Gregson Hall. And together, staff and students affectionately like to call Gibson and Gregson G-Unit. They're very similar in style, so that's why. Also, the same seven resident assistants handle both halls as well as the same CRE. Could you talk a little bit about Class Plus? Yeah, so at the bottom of Gregson Hall is Class Plus. It's a, a tutoring service. Um, you can get writing help and things like that. It's always better to be, to be proactive about things like that before you actually mm -hmm. need it. So that's what's really convenient about that. And they have Club Red right around this corner, which is really nice. Could you tell them what that's about too? Yeah, so Club Red's basically like a convenience store for the university. You can use your dining dollars um, and flex dollars to buy things there. Um, so that's really convenient. It's basically like any standard gas station convenience store. Awesome. Okay. Introduce her. Okay. Oh. Yeah, can you introduce yourself? <laughs> yes, um, I, my name is Courtney. I'm about to be a sophomore here at the university. Um, I'm a nursing major and I'm from Fayetteville. So awesome. if you need any advice about good places to eat or hang out, you can shoot us any questions. Also, um, if you have any questions about Gibson, just let us know below and we'll try to answer those to the best of our ability. Also, Gibson's located on the top of the famous Dixon Street in Fayetteville. Um, there's tons of restaurants and fun things to do. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Where do you like to eat, Courtney? Um, oh my goodness, on Dixon Street. If you like sushi, there's Tokyo Sushi. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, Wasabi is really good too. And then comfort food, I would say ham and trees is really awesome. It's grilled cheeses and soup, so you can't really go wrong over there. Do you mind passing the camera to him for just a yeah, second sure. so you can introduce yourself? Yeah. <laughs> so this is Courtney. Hello. I'll be behind the camera, so if you have any questions, just let us know. <laughs> head inside. Yep. We're gonna head inside this way. So actually they're currently doing renovations on the central part of this building. So we're not gonna be able to go up to the front desk and the laundry room and things like that, but we're still gonna talk about it and give you all the details. Also the really nice thing about this residence hall is it's located so close to all the good food on mm -hmm. campus. The union's also really close, um, which is where we have a lot of good restaurants too. It's a really good spot to be in. It is. You're all dressed up. What do you do for us? Um, I'm actually a senior conference ambassador for university housing. Um, over the summer, we just kind of coordinate all the summer conferences and things. And this is just a fun addition to the job. So. <laughs> I love the University of Arkansas. <laughs> So here's the hallway in Gibson. We're just gonna walk this way. Um, you can kind of see it's really nice, fresh painted walls, cool lights on all of the walls. Um, so actually down this hallway is where the front desk is located. Um, that's where you'll receive mail um, and things like that. You'll have a personal mailbox, as well as any package, they'll just email you whenever your package gets here. There's also a lot, the laundry room is this way. Um, and the University of Arkansas actually includes laundry in your student fees, so you don't have to pay to use machines or anything like that. The only thing is you have to bring your own detergent. Um, it also, we also offer a cool service called Laundry Alert. Um, you basically download an app and it'll tell you where your laundry is in the process and when it's finished, it'll alert you. So that's a really handy thing that students like to utilize. Um, the fun thing about living in a dorm is since there's students all needing to do laundry, you kind of have to figure out a good time to wash your clothes. I always like to do mine on like 3 o'clock on a Monday afternoon. Just when no one would think of doing their laundry, that's when I would like to do it because the weekends can get crowded and crazy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 
And this is a 1930s building, uh, so it has these sort of wide hallways that mm -hmm. I think are kind of cool. Really nice. And that's a fun feature um, in this building is since it's from the 1930s, it has that old style feel, um, but a lot of renovations have taken place. It actually includes the same hardwood floors um, that it originally had. And in 2015, we re they renovated and refurbished these hardwood floors. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at a corner room in here. Room 105. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> so the corner room's just a little bit different. Um, you actually have two unique bookshelves over each bed mm -hmm. that are attached to the walls. You'll have de these desks, which you can move. Every room comes with two chairs. Mm -hmm. And there's also built-in cabinets on the wall, or drawers, right here, as well as a lighted sink in the mm -hmm. mirror. And we can take a look at a closet if you would like. Yeah. Also, a sink is so nice to have. I'm super jealous. So here's a closet. There's also some additional storage space up top. You can look in there. Mm -hmm. Where did you live, Courtney? I lived in Reed Hall, which is on the other side of campus, but I absolutely loved it. I miss it already. So yeah, those closets are nice. They're a lot bigger than they look. We've got some nice built-in drawers. Are we, are we getting any questions? Are they coming in? I don't believe so. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Let me just hit this button just to make sure. It's fine. Awesome. All right. So Gibson is actually an all-female dorm. It's mostly reserved for upperclassmen. Some freshmen may be able to live here. Um, that makes it really nice because um, you won't have to worry about um, any awkwardness or anything like that. These rooms come with ceiling fans as well, which is really convenient, um, as well as high ceilings and wide walls, so it really makes the room feel open. And these windows are also a nice touch. Yeah. So the corner rooms have two sets of windows. Um, a standard room will just have one set of windows. Could you tell them a little bit about um, lofting their beds yeah, sure. and how that works? So you are able to loft these beds if you would like. However, um, you can ask the university to do it for you um, on a first come, first serve basis before July 31st. Um, that's a lot easier if you don't want to loft it yourself, but it just kind of depends on how, how quickly you get on it because mm -hmm. They only have so many sets. Yeah. And the way to do that is to go to uh, housing.uark.edu yes. forward slash fix it, which is our maintenance request form. Awesome. And you can just put in your room number and request that they lock your beds. Also, every room comes with a cable box. It includes HBO as well, so that's really nice. Yeah. We're going to look at the bathrooms. I think that's the major renovation. Yes. And one of the reasons we can't show you the central area right now is because it's being renovated, uh, the bathrooms, and so we'll show that off. This one was renovated last year. So this is what um, the newly renovated bathrooms will look like, as well as this end of the hall. So the main renovations are the showers are now single stall showers, personal mm -hmm. space. You have your own personal changing space in here, as well as the shower. And so you can actually shut the door if you would like. Um, to make it more private. Go, go in there a little bit. I'm just give a look at what the shower looks like. See if there's light in here. There we go. Yeah. So it used to be where you had all of the uh, faucets coming out uh, from the wall, and so they had these um, just sort of curtains between the different people when they were showering. Now you have your own full length door mm -hmm. to give you um, that space. A nice little changing area. Yeah. Awesome. There's hooks. So we're going to go up this way. Um, here are your stalls as well in the bathroom. I don't think we'll need to show you that. Um, there are three stalls. Three stalls, two showers. All right, so now we're just going to take a look at a more standard room um, that you can expect to find in the majority of the building. The main difference is, like I said, that bookcase, and it's shaped just a little bit differently. I think we're over here. Yes, we're going to look at 107. 107. All right. So here is a standard room. It just has a single bookshelf up above the desk area, and there's one set of windows instead of two. Mm -hmm. 
And everything else is pretty much the same. Yeah. You still got your sink and the two closets. Beautiful hardwood floors. And these walls are actually the original plaster walls from the 1930s. Um, so that's really, that's a nice addition too. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets their own little bedside table. And I'm pretty sure you can lock those doors if you want to. So that's really nice. Got some people tuning in. Lori just shared our page. Thanks. She said, I love these videos. <laughs> so one thing we like to do is uh, measure at least the mattress. Uh, so if you don't mind, I've got the tape measure. We'll measure anything in the room. And now is the time if you want specific measurements for anything in the room. Although you can always go to the housing website under Gibson Hall and find measurements. We're happy to do it here as well. Mm -hmm. So the width of the mattress is 36 inches, it's about 3 feet, um, and I'll measure the length on my some help with this. So, it's about 79 inches. It's going to be 80, I think, uh, but it's like 79, 80, right in that area. Yeah. Okay, great. So here, once again, you have your own personal sink. Um, with a small cabinet space under the sink, um, as well as a light over the mirror, so that'll help when you're getting ready in the mornings mm -hmm. and things like that. It's really nice to have your own space, um, just so you don't have to battle over sink space in the restroom or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They have cool little storage things above the closets too. Yeah. So it's all kind of built in, so it has a classic old feel. I remember one of my first apartments was in the '30s, and it has a very similar oh, yeah. kind of wood structure there. Uh, why don't you open up a couple of the uh, cabinet drawers sure. just so people can see what kind of space you yeah. have in there. So here's just your standard drawer, okay. bedroom. So we had someone ask if we could go to their room, but basically all the rooms look the exact same way. What's the room number? Um, she's say? still watching. She could tell us. Okay. So I doubt, but just thought I'd ask. Unfortunately, because we're doing so much renovation in here, that'll all be done by the time you arrive this fall. Uh, we're kind of limited to the first floor, this wing right now, so, but yeah, this is a very typical, you've seen basically the two configurations, you've seen a corner room, and now you've seen a room that's in the hallway. Right. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry, you had yeah, some so, measurements there? So it's about 28 inches long, mm -hmm. and then about 18 inches wide. Sure. Or I don't know if I did lengthen with it. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> we what you know. um, the nice thing about this hall as well is there are some common spaces where you can study and hang out. But like Chris said, um, it's currently under renovation, so we can't get to those. Um, that's just another cool feature in this hall. Um, the chairs, I guess, can you show me a little yeah. chair trick? So the fun thing about all of the chairs in these residence halls is you can actually take them apart. Um, and it kind of like turns into two chairs. So let's see if I can get this off. <laughs> but yeah, on the spot. Yeah, I know. Let's see. <laughs> if not, I think there might be a little like handle you pull up and it detaches. Uh, it's been a while since I've done that too. Yeah, this is. Nice. Yeah. I know it's easy, I just haven't done that in a long time. I've definitely done it on accident before. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. There you go. So the chair kind of, you can set it on the floor like that, and it'll rock back and forth, which is nice. And this also can turn into like a little stool mm -hmm. if you would like that. So every chair in the residence rooms will be like that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's a cool Snippy. feature. Yeah, I can get back. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we. Uh, are there any more questions for us um, about Gibson Hall? Yeah. She has mentioned she, that she's in room 326, but... Awesome, 326. Yeah. yeah, third floor. I think there's, I'm not sure how many floors there are. I think it's just three. I think just it's three, three, so you're at the top. Yes, and I know that there's no elevator, right? Correct? Mm -hmm. It's a walk up. It's kind of awesome. That's honestly a good thing. Three floors is sort of that area where you're like, okay, I can still <laughs> definitely do this and no worries. If you get up to five, six, eight, that's maybe not mm -hmm. great when it comes to uh, not having an elevator. Uh, we have another tour, do you mind? Uh, 
today. Uh -huh. So this afternoon, we're also going to be touring Founders Hall at 2 p.m. Um, so uh, we'd love for you guys to tune in then um, as we showcase that mm -hmm. dorm as well. And um, if this wasn't, you know, the dorm you're living in, we're going to go through others. So just keep watching and we'll let you know what we're going to what we're gonna end up showing. Uh, they can go to uh, the Facebook page and find all of the calendar events right mm -hmm. there. Awesome. Well, sign us out. All right, <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys joining us this morning. Once again, this was Gibson Hall. I'm Josiah. Thank you, Courtney, for all of your help. Um, <laughs> if you guys have any questions, please just let us know. And we appreciate you stopping by.